What's going on, guys? I'm back with you with another part of How to Survive 2. And I just want to show you guys a couple... Anybody who's having troubles with it, I'll uh, show you a couple things I have learned. Uh, leveling up, number one. So you already saw me. I built my trunk so I could store some inventory in there so I'm not burdened down with everything. And as you can see, yoink, I have a bow and arrow. Uh, the one thing I will want to show you, so if you're at your camp, like, you open it up, you were getting a message, see, level 3, you were getting a message that it was, uh, your camp was too low, blah blah blah, so what you do is, if you're playing, I'm not sure at the keyboard, I'm using the Xbox controller, so on the D-pad, just tap down, and if you want to level up your camp, Second, this is, I guess, a light green, and you have the XP. Bam, see, got it to level 6. You can start filling in the slots. And consequently, while you're doing that, go to General, and bada bing, there you go. You could also start leveling up your character. As you can see, I bumped up to level 4. But with all that, also comes some other issues, such as, oh, I found a, a machete too. Look at that damage. I still haven't reached level 5 yet. I mean, I probably can. I'll level up to level 5 and show you guys the uh, the axe guitar, the voodoo guitar. But with that, the enemies get more difficult, and you'll see new enemies in here. It's going to take a lot more to take them out. And one of the other ones is like a big zombie cult. I don't know what the hell they call it. It looks, if you guys play Dead Island... It looks like a cross between the bloater, that fat that fat thing that like spews sewage at you, except these don't spew sewage at you. And I think when you whack it, a it does an extreme amount of damage. And if you whack it a couple times, I think it explodes from what I can see. Alright, so let's go in here. I was messing around uh, with some of the missions, so I did do a level 3 mission where I learned to make my own... Gun- uh, not guns, uh, bullets. Still haven't found a, a firearm yet, but I, I know how to make bullets now, though, guys. So I did that mission. Uh, explored a little bit more of them. Actually filled out, I think, the whole map. Found a couple of survivors who have missions for me. And Kovac wants me to go deer hunting. And I got my ass kicked. Here so. is what I suggest. Here it is. Dear Kovac. I got my ass beat on this mission because I just went in with a machete. And you are fighting zombie deer. I am extremely troubled, survivor. The pylons that I struggled so hard to set up, and which are supposed to be transmitting my rally signal, are no longer working. My relays aren't relaying anymore. You think they've broken down? Not possible. Not them. Not so soon. I didn't make them like that. I see the hand of man in the picture. Or rather, the hoof of deer. So, here's my theory. Those flea-bitten deer scratch themselves against my pylons, generating static electricity, which in turn disrupts my relays. The solution? Go there and put those dumb animals out of their misery. Please. If you won't do this for me, you should do it for them, right? You'll be helping my relays. And you'll also be able to take useful resources from their bodies, if they haven't decomposed too much, of course. Alright guys, so I can't decrease the... Because like when you guys notice you start going to these missions, these little sandbox and everything, you can increase, decrease, get yourself some more XP. You cannot decrease it, so this is... The difficulty. And let's do this, and you'll probably, you'll probably see me get killed. This is the first time I'm doing it now that I created the, uh, created the arrows for my bow. Alright, let me, alright, let me switch up. Let me keep this on deck, because not only are you fighting zombie deer, you also have your run-of-the-mill zombies. And I guess what I like about this game, I mean, right now there is, yeah, they still gotta work some things out. Number one, I still gotta find people to play with to start building my camp up. So if you guys want to, just look up No Cheese Gaming and uh, let's work on something together. Aluminum crutch. Yeah, why not? 
but what I like is if you guys play it or if you guys watch me play it, the zombies aren't that stupid. <laughs> like if you if you go by a house, they'll try or they're chasing you into a house, they'll beat that door down. Eventually they'll break through. If you walk by a house, they'll bust out the windows and uh oh. And they will come out, they'll flip over railings. I mean, it's just little things like that. Just make the game you know, immerse you a little bit more. Alright, so there you can see the deer. They do a sick amount of damage. And like I said, I was getting my ass beat just using the machete. So, let's see. Alright. Ready? Alright, now, he does he know? Oh no, he does! He does! And they climb too! Alright, let's... Oh no. What the hell's going on? I guess that yellow or green is the... Wow, that is a horrible, horrible way to... I don't even know if I'm doing any damage to him. I know I hit him the first time because he got pissed. Alright, let's see. Luckily I have more sticks to keep making my ball. I don't I really don't know. Oh shit. Now let's try this again. Oh gotcha. Alright, I'm getting ready to trust me. I actually jumped in the bed of the pickup truck the first time around and that thing came up right on there and just harpooned me. Alright, let's see how many shots this is going to take. I am going to have to... Jesus. I don't know if I should just soften them up. With the, uh, with the... Alright, there we go. Alright, let's, let's craft some more. Because you get... Please tell me I also... Okay, no, simple crossbow bolts. Oh, damn it. I need more logs. Hopefully you find some more. Simple arrows. Now, wait, what's... Oh, okay, I see. Alright, well, let's use that. So now we have... Alright, that's on deck. Oh, okay, we can retrieve them. Beautiful. Alright, let's get this back on deck. But yeah, I ho hope you guys are doing well out there. Swing, gonna miss. No, swing and connect. Alright. Um, yeah, so this is what you also have to watch out for, because you get the deer chasing your ass. Then you got these guys. Step up, sir. Ah. Alright. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Ah, get chopped, damn it. Good job. Uh. Now, I'm not too worried about... I'm always worried about health, but... I've actually found, I don't know, like 40 medical plants from running around. Along with it. Just about every zombie has a piece of cloth on them, so... Making bandages usually is not an issue. Alright, let's clear some of these zombies out. But, uh... Damn it, man. Alright, and yes, you will start seeing a lot more of them run... Come rushing at you. Some are still just the regular walkers. Uh. And here we go. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's the blow. That's the bloater guy. I was telling you about. They connect with you. They do damage. I wonder. All right. I wonder how many shots it takes this thing. Oh boy, run away! Eh, yeah, fat dude can move! Alright, didn't connect with on that. Come on, come on! Alright, that's, there you go, see that's what I mean. Hit them enough times, that's why I learned don't engage in close combat. 
But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well out there. I know I have to keep, keep trying to repeat that and complete my sentence. And thank you so much for the support on this. And all the other videos you guys have been watching, liking, all that good stuff. It means a lot to me, you know. Use some of the limited free time I have to keep uploading videos. And I'm hoping to play with some of you guys, because... I want to learn from you. Maybe we can learn from each other. And I think I got enough... I'll show you some other stuff we get back to the base. Uh, sheet metal is something I'm going to need. You can build, like, a kitchen, a foundry. I think that's how you're going to start building your armor up. Which I can only imagine will help immensely. Alright. And this deer is going to... He's going to chase us. Alright. You know what? Let's just get rid of this fool. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Go, go, go. Run away. Oh, no, 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 no. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Ah, oh, damn it, man. Yeah, see. Alright. One for you, sir. Oh, you want some more? Okay, I got plenty. I'm just so glad you could actually recover the, uh, the bolts. Because I'd be in a world of shit if I couldn't. Alright. Right, let's line up. Got him. Now, obviously, I can't keep doing this because, as you can see, we had to kill eight infected deer. And you saw the amount of damage, just like two hits did to me. Like 75% total. Alright. Let's get our, get our bolts back. Alright, let's collect all these. How come we can't? They're glowing. Give me them back. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Alright, take all these. As many as I can. Is that it? Man, I just can't hold anymore. I don't know. But yeah, if you guys want to play this, look up No Cheese Gaming. You can find me on Steam. Or you even send me like a... Put it in the comment section. Send it to me in an email. Whatever. You guys know where to find me. So other than that, I'm just relaxing, guys. Hoping you're all doing well. Looking forward to, uh... Call of Duty. Oh, let me heal myself up. If you're into that kind of stuff. Now, uh, one more time, I just fill that bar up. And then after that, Star Wars Battlefront, baby. But I'm gonna still stick around. This. I love zombies. The Walking Dead, George Romero's, most of his movies... Uh, damn it. Um, I actually have another one posted called Undead Overlord on my channel. 15 bucks off Steam. It's basically, if you ever played Postal, you know, the first one back in the day, it's kind of like that, except you are not the survivor. You are the zombie who can eat people or chew on them and obviously get them infected. And you basically have, like, this whole gang of zombies. Like, you guys just run wild through the city. Uh-oh. Yeah, big boy. Alright, gotta get the hell away from him. Uh-oh. Go, 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 go. There we go. But yeah, if you guys, you know, you guys let me know what you want to see in these videos. Or what type of video, should I say, you guys want to see. And I will do my best to buy the game and do a playthrough on it. Alright, so far so good. Damn it. Where are you at? Did he just run away? Oh, there he is. I was going to say, did he just run away from me? Okay, what else we have? Candy bar, so you never have to worry about starving. I mean, if you guys need to re-up on anything... As far as like orange juice or any type of other beverages to rehydrate, just do one of the first missions, like first time in the city, and you'll find at least two or three 
uh, beverages to add to your inventory. It's not that hard. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transition, hopefully, to when I get to the, uh, the end of this mission and see where it takes us from there. Like I said, you can see it's exceedingly difficult with those damn deer, zombie deer. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about the transition. It's been uh, taking me a few minutes. As you can see, I've killed seven deer. Got one more to go. Now the best strat, I just got killed a couple seconds ago. That's the other part about getting killed. It's a penalty. Like the first time you get killed, 10%. Uh, take away your XP that you're supposed to get from the missions. Then after that, 20%. And there's that deer. Now the strategy I've come up with that seems to work if you have the machete. So usually you could get about two shots off before this thing hits you. So one, two, and then just beat some ass. Because if you go toe to toe with just the machete, like I did the first time around, I got murdered. All right, let's go back to Kovac. And there's my death penalty. 20% of my XP evaporates. But yeah, like I said, I have found other survivors that have missions. Well, at least one guy had a mission. I think it's something about wolverines or wolves or some shit. So, you know that's going to go well. Especially if they're zombified. Like it's, but the, so far, I've had fun with this game. I just I need to find other people. Like I said, I keep, keep saying that over and over. You know, if you guys want to join me, or I'll join you. All right, let's see what he's got to say here. To the damn flashlight. You see, off. survivor, I was right. Since you got rid of those damned four-legged pests, I've been able to re-establish the link with the relays, and our rally signal is transmitting again. Now we just have to wait for the throngs of new members to arrive. We still have lots of what? The enclosure protecting the pylons had been broken into before you arrived. Strange. I went by there not long ago, and everything was intact. It may have been one of the members of that sect that's holed up out west of the mountainous region. They're all applicants I rejected before you showed up. Apparently, they've established a cult worshipping me, which is fair enough. But I still don't trust them. Go pay them a visit when you get the chance. But for now, let's not waste any more time. There's still lots to do for your camp to become new Kovac City. No offense, of course. All right, guys, let's Here's see. Here's what I suggest. Uh, panic room. All right, I'm not level five yet. I could always just level up my character. Let me go up there. This might be the end of the video. Let me just climb up top real quick and see what I can do. I need sheet metal, and I'll actually show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so we hit the d-pad down on the d-pad and let's go to crafting as you can see we can make another trunk oh yeah i did make a fence i made a the hell is it i did make a high wooden fence i do have one i just need to get more logs uh foundry accessories see i got planks put away so that damn sheet metal and that'll come later on you guys will find more Uh, low wood fence, wood pylon. Alright guys, let me see what else do we have here. In general, I could always level my camp up. Let's do that. Okay, level 7 for my camp. Alright guys, with that being said, let me see. Yeah, he's doing alright. Alright, with that being said guys, uh, like I said, look for me on there. You know, just keep checking out. I'll be popping up some new videos. I reach a higher level, start crafting more, some more stuff and building the city up. And with that being said, oh, by the way, go see Crimson Peak. If you like horror movies, this one, I finally broke down. Spent the $11, and it was worth it. It's a pretty decent horror movie, something I haven't really seen in a while. So, you guys go enjoy it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Enjoy some juice.